Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. A little while back, I started a video series on boot light drops, and I started going down the line from cartridge to cartridge to go through, take them out to the range, and explain, based on that cartridge, the boot light droppage at different yardages. Go take you to the range with me, show you in real life what actually happens with me out at the range, and then just do some of that nerdy math calculation stuff and show you the drop all the way out to a thousand yards. My Weatherby, what is this one called? The Vanguard Sporter. It's one of the more sophisticated rifles you will ever see on this channel. Uh, but long story short, I found it on closeout and got it for less than half of the retail price. That's why I have this. But very nice 270. I have a Zero Tech vengeance scope on top of this baby super super clear glass good eye relief if you're not familiar with zero tech check them out uh, they're good stuff for this video and for this example i'm going to be taking to the range some norma whitetail ammo it is a lead tipped 270 winchester and these are 130 grain that's a pretty uh Standard grain weight for 270 Winchester, 130 grain. There you go. Mm -hmm. You still like doing this? Can Alright, so you guys just saw what we had as far as drop results at the range. Here is a quick calculation that I've done out to a thousand yards. Put the data in here. BC on this Norma 270 Whitetail is a .359 on the G1 scale, which is actually pretty decent for your basic lead-nosed hunting round. Obviously, if you got some kind of tipped ammo, more expensive match ammo, you could get a higher BC. But for that lead nose stuff, it's actually pretty good. Uh, bullet weight I put in there, 130. That's what it is. There's the muzzle velocity. And here's what the chart is spitting out for us here. Zeroed at 100 yards. At 200, it's saying our drop should be around 3 inches, which I think our average there was between 2 and 3 inches. So this is pretty accurate stuff here. If you're going to dial your scope for 200, you'd do 1.44 MOA or 0.4 mils here. And then you can see on down all the way out to 1,000. So at 1,000 yards, that, that 270 round is dropping 376 inches. At 500 yards, that 270 is only dropping just over four feet. So at 500 yards, uh, with a couple practice shots, assuming we could get a decent group, I think that ammo would be just fine to shoot out to 500 yards. But you can see after 500, it starts dropping quicker. But at that 500 mark with this ammo, you'd be dialing 9.4 MOA or 9.5 MOA. 2.76 mils and then you can see here it goes under the sound barrier in between 900 yards and a thousand yards which is actually not too bad and over here a lot of you guys want to see the energy so the energy on this round if you go out to it's still above 1500 foot pounds at 300 yards a lot of people use that 1500 as a marker 400 yards, it's 1,200. 
500 yards, you still have a thousand pounds. Uh, but there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this helps you out. And again, if you're using similar ammo, it's going to be pretty close to this. But um, if you really want to know your exact ammo, you're going to have to plug in your ammo to one of these calculators. But if you're using some 130 grain lead nose, this is probably going to be pretty close, especially inside the three or 400 yard range here. But if you're hunting, you definitely want to know this information. You want that boo lot to hit exactly where you're holding on that deer or elk or whatever you're hunting there. But this is the drop chart using that ammo out to 1,000 yards. Tons of videos coming your way very, very soon. New videos every single day. Appreciate y'all big time. You mean a whole lot to me. Really, really do appreciate that. 270 Winchester, Boo Light, Dropage. Appreciate you coming along. We'll see you on the next one. 270 Winchester. Hootie hoo! Shoot.